Oh yeah, a few of you asked to see the old VW Caddy Mark II pickup. And here he is. Had it about four years. They do a Mark I, the rounder headlamps, more sleek. But on new, four or five years ago, these will go up in price and get quite rare, which they are now. Brilliant runner. He's a 1.9 diesel, 1997. Do you a quick walk around. I did break one of these up because the engine was seized about three years ago. So I've got new grills, I've got bumpers, lights, everything. So, but I see this morning, do another one at the end of the day when it's all thawed. But overall, the body ain't too bad. The truck bed. One hole there, and it's another one somewhere, but I've got the rear hatch needs repairing or redoing. I've got one rust free one and another one that I use for cuts for here. There's one more little hole somewhere, but the previous owner used to carry his dirt bikes. So, hence, these hooks down there, all four. Racing stickers there. But I'll watch Purden Speed Shop, and he does all the old Datsun pickups. And yeah, I want to have a cool work truck. Hence, I've been doing bits of work. This is the inner wing I've been working on. And I'll add a video or two of how I got this far. And yeah, I make an apology if it's anything <laughs> stupidity on that one. So, I'll put it on now. So I'm at home in the home garage. I've got my Mark II Cali pickup in a wing panel. Cut the size, correct. And once the panel's welded onto the van, that lip will be cut off and then boxed in with some bits. Got myself a drawing where the hose has got to be. So I've got my home drill and I'm going to weld in some captive nuts on the bottom so the box screws into. So, first hole, 207mm, and in, inside the front wing. First hole, 207mm, 420 and 635. And in 17mm. Easy enough. Right, 207. 207, 420, 420 and 635. And in 17mm. 17mm centres. It doesn't matter if you're a couple of mil out because the inner wing of the actual wings itself has got an oval hole for the bolt, so then I'll center punch and drill out. Oh, 17 mil. That's 17 mil because I'm buttoned up to the front wing. Right, got the repair panel in the vise. First hole, 207 mil. Two, seven, 420. Let me see. And 635. Right. 635. Now, I thought I'd butt up to the inner wing that's still left. I'll probably come in 3 mil so then I can weld along that way. It's 2 mil thick this plate, so it'll be hard to make a step in it. So if I go along just 3 mil, so instead of 17 mil, I'll turn that into 20 mil. 20 mil. So, yeah. Doesn't matter if you're 1 or 2 mil off because on the actual wing itself is an oval hole. So you've got a bit of wiggle room. Wiggle, wiggle, just a little, little. The last one, 20 mil. That makes sense, there's 17 mil. Right, centre punch. Then we start drilling the hole. 
Right. Got the centre. Let's give it a little. Fucking have that radio on. Right, got a centre punch. Yeah, two mirrors, right. Yeah. Right, happy with that. Set up on the little drill now. Right, drill my three holes. Here's the centre drill and the pilot. Drill, stubby drill. I'll clamp down the vice. And then just wait to deburr the holes. Quick chamfer. I was an engineer for 30 years, so this job gave a doddle. Although I wish I had a milling machine here and a lathe. But just use what we got, guys. Pong drill, just about 100 pounds. One, two, three. Fine. Now over here. Check the measurements. I think I'm a couple mil out. I say I'm a couple mil out. Um, the centers are good. Two and seven mil. So this way. Also off camera, I'll cut out this little step. What you did, 207 to the centre. Yes, sir. I'll check the width in it. 207, 420. Look at that, 420. I think I'm a little bit out here, but as I said before, the inner wings have got. So that one's four, six, seven, 635. Yep, I am three mil out, but that's here or there. I'll have you that. 20 mil centres. So 20 mil. One for one, two for two, three for three. That's good. Now I've got my nut bolts. These are the ones I will use. Give me some engineering. No toolboxes, cabinet, tools. Right. Must be a nut and washer. Yep. And what I'll do is weld in the nuts on the back. Right. You can that. That's what I'll be doing there. Weld in that. Okay, ready to wear in the captive nuts. Just a little tack there. I've got a brand new helmet. So, let's get tacking. See if I can bring you with me with a gun. Excuse me. Just tacking the nut on. Right, have a little bit of a close-up. Happy with that, and I'll do the next three, and bring you, bring you back when I'm done. Plan of action. Tap the nuts, and after the first tack, undo the bolt. So, got my Lincoln welder, got my new helmet, let's give it a tack. But I'll do the first tack, undo the bolt, and I'll come back after I've done it. Let's make sure we can undo that bolt. What I'm going to have to do is um, shorten these bolts as well afterwards. This helmet's working well, not just on one pack. Let's grind it down a little bit. Make sure that bolt back on. And there she goes.
Perfect. Right, bring you back after I do the next two. Right, all completed. Good penetration on the metal. Well, we're all the way around, even though it just needs tacking. A little bit of filler on top as well. So let's see where we're at. 207 was the first one, the centers. As you can see, bang on 207. 420, bang on. And the 635, a couple more away. One, two more away. Happy with that. 20, point 20 in the end from the end. Center. 20, and 20. Bang on. So, next time you join me, we'll be at the workshop. Thank you. And there it is, all welded in. Just got to uh, fill the bottom. Wing fits, jobs are good on. Bit of backtracking on the inner wing. So I've cut the side of it, the metal is too thick. So it's hard to bend. There's the cut there. That's what I'll do, just box, box it all in. Obviously paint underneath and treat it all first. Right, take three. I'll cut it down. A lot better. Clean up inside. Paint them up. Box it in. Job done. Right, Friday morning at VW Coco HQ. And I think it's take your daughter's pup to work day dudley he's called dudley yeah so as you've seen this is where i'm up to i've already made the metal here to box it all in but the wing will bolt onto here perfect other side's good, inner wing. Get them going in a minute. That's just all the dust there from... I was grinding away the there. So yeah, 1.9 diesel. What I'll do, Big Al said he'll come around and do the cam belt, etc. Water pump. So... Cool little truck. Thanks for asking. I'll just offer up the wing next and then we're getting started and I'll show you inside. That's the uh, wing mocked up. Leave it like that, get it all rusty. Perfect. Holes will line up. Perfect. I've got a drill for a nut and bolt there. The other side, the same needs doing. Captive nuts come out. Easy job. So this is the Mark II Cali pickup, 1997. I'll start, well, I've got to box it in and I first. Get the wing on, I've got the indicator. I've got new indicate lenses to go on. Nice little car or truck. Should quickly show you inside. I think you've seen on the video I've got a new carpet to go in. The seats I'm just putting seat covers on. Rip them off. I've got some retro ones on the way from Amazon. Give it a good clean up. That's just some spare lenses. But he's done 150,000. Smack a cam belt water pump on. Job done. Say he was used as a motocross truck see there bit of welding easy enough common problem there on the turrets so i've got a rust free rear lid to go on that's a spare there got the ribs so i can cut them out to fill these holes the rust free one sitting inside I'll go through all the brakes, fix up all the other bodywork. I'll keep it on steels. I'll probably get coilovers to go on. That'd be cool.
But I had a few of you ask, what truck? Let's see the truck. And here it is. In amongst the bugs. All right.